हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द बायोलॉजी वर्ल्ड टुडे वी स्टार्टिंग सेकंड चैप्टर इन दिस यूनिट ऑफ डायवर्सिटी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज योर सेकंड चैप्टर नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन वी नीड टू हैव सम हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड दैट हाउ दिस क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व एंड विच इज वन यूजेज इन राइट नाउ इन फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस क्लासिफिकेशन वाइड क्लासिफिकेशन इज नीड एंड हाउ टू द यूजेज ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सो हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज गिवन बाय एरिस्टॉटल Aristotle was given the first classification and he is classified all the living organism into two categories and these categories is plant and animals so basically we can say that it is two kingdom classification टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन बिकॉज एरिस्टोटल वॉज डिवाइड दिस क्लासिफिकेशन इन टू मेन किंगडम दैट इज प्लांट एंड एनिमल्स सो नाउ इट इज कॉल्ड टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन इन प्लांट इन प्लांट एरिस्टोटल इंक्लूड इंक्लूड all the unicellular and multicellular plants and it is further classified on the basis of its size on the basis of its size again aristotle classified this plant kingdom in basis of its size and that is first all the tall plants and include in tree smaller plant include in shrub and very small and delicate plant very small and delicate plant and it is Known as herbs. So Aristotle first divide two kingdom classification. The two kingdom is plants and animals. Now basis of the size Aristotle further classify the plant kingdom in very tall plants known as tree, smaller plants known as shrub, and very small delicate plants known as herbs. Now Aristotle. also classified the animal kingdom into two categories first category which plant which animals have red blood jitne bhi animals hai unme jo red blood hai unko ek category mein divide kiya aur second category is Without red blood, with with red blood animals known as inema, and without red blood, the animals known as anemia. So, Aristotle. divided animal kingdom into two categories anemia and inemia so it is very basic classification given by aristotle the all plants are synthesize their food so they are autotrophs but the 
animals are not synthesis their food so it is heterotrophous so it is the very basic classification given by aristotle now then came another two kingdom classification which was given by linnaeus which was given by linnaeus and known as linnaeus classification and linnaeus get credit actually to kingdom classification to kingdom classification apart from morphological structure aristotle was given the two kingdom classification with the basis of morphological structure that is tall plants smaller plants and very smaller plants but linnaeus apart from morphological structure also used some more characters but categories in which those organis organisms classified and this is plants and animals so two kingdoms are same that is planty and animalia now linnaeus further classif classified not only the morphological characters uh, we show that aristotle was first classified into two category two kingdom that is plant and animals then plant kingdom is also further classified on the basis of morphological structure but here linnaeus further classified not only morphological characters but some other characters was also used now this two kingdom classification could not explain many many important things linnaeus classify in two kingdom classification plantae and animalia but it it also involved some uh, extra characters more characters apart from the morphological characters but this classification was also limitation the Uh, this two kingdom classification could not explain many important things like when should be placed euglena type of organism we know that euglena is a, a protist animal euglena type of animals so we should we can should that be uh, placed euglena type of organism euglena has some characters are like plant kingdom because he has chloroplast and it uh, pro, it has a photosynthetic like character so these characters are plant like characters but it it is without a cell wall so absent of cell wall is an animal characters euglena is a protist animal but it have photosynthetic chloroplast so photosynthesis process is included in plant kingdom but without cell wall euglena have no cell wall absent of cell wall so absent of cell wall is the character of animals because all plant cells have cell wall so it is animal character lack of uh, cell wall they were also not able to place fungi like fungi like animals fungi kind of organisms where are this is saprophytes because fungi are saprophytes what is saprophytes to so saprophytes they would be it anything and take nourishment from decomposing matter saprophytes take nourishment from decomposing 
ऑर्गेनिक मैटर सो देर वेर मेनी मेनी थिंग्स टू मिसिंग बट इट इज इनिशियल क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज इनिशियल क्लासिफिकेशन सो दिस वेर टेकन वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन केम थ्री किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन एंड इट वॉज गिवन बाय अर्नस्ट हेकले नाउ इवोल्यूशनरी फेज द टू किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज गिवन बाय linears and it is so many limitation of this classification but it is initial classification basic classification now three kingdom classification three kingdom classification this three kingdom classification was given by ernst heckle ernst heckle in 1866 in and this classification was three kingdom classification that means he added one more kingdom and this three kingdom was the newly added kingdom is first is protista that is new added kingdom and second and third is same planti and animalia so the protista is newly added kingdom the protista include it is included all the unicellular organisms all the unicellular organism was placed here but again there was not a specific placed for fungi like organisms so this kingdom was also limitation because this kingdom was not differentiate into prokaryotes and eukaryotes animals limitation of this classification this classification were not separated or differentiated prokaryotic and you carry or take animals so this is the limitation of three kingdom classification in two kingdom classification was given by linnaeus the limitation of two kingdom classification is euglena type organisms have no specific place and again fungi like organism has no specific place now Uh, this limitation was removed in three kingdom classification so the euglena and uh, other unicellular animals are all include in protista so the euglena have uh, its own class uh, kingdom that's protista and hercule uh, are include new kingdom that is protista and unicellular like euglena type animal are include in this protista type kingdom but again fungi like organism have no placed perfect place in three kingdom classification so it is again again limitation of this kingdom and euglena like or uh, animals are include in protista but in protista all the 
unicellular organism include where it is prokaryotes and eukaryotes so it is also one type of limitation of three kingdom classification now copland give four kingdom classification now copland give four kingdom classification four kingdom classification so here new kingdom was added now kingdoms was four that is the first kingdom was added is monera the second one is protista third one is planti and the fourth one is animalia so this is the four kingdom classification which given by copland here monera include all the prokaryotic animal animals are included in this newly added kingdom in protis in protista in protista all the unicellular unicellular eukaryotes were included so monera have only prokaryotic animals included and protista have unicellular eukaryotes animals are included planti have autotrophous animal uh, plants and animalia has uh, heterotrophous so this is the first time that is prokaryotes and eukaryotes was separate so the uh, in previous the three kingdom classification which given by hakle the limitation we discussed that is no prokaryotes and eukaryotes is differentiate here copland are based try that differentiate into prokaryotes and eukaryotes so he include new kingdom that is monera which have include only prokaryotes animals and protista include only u unicellular eukaryotes so here prokaryotes and eukaryotes was separate so it was even better better classification of organisms but here there was not a specific place for fungi like organisms so here that this is the limitation of copland classification there is no placed for fungi like classification so again five kingdom classification are arise and this was given by r h witaker five kingdom classification given by r h witaker now this classification first time fungi have included in kingdom so they, this is the five kingdom of witaker classification the first is monera second one is protista the third kingdom is fungi the fourth is plant all the plants include and the five is animalia animals are included in now monera included all the prokaryotes protista included all the 
यूनिसेल्युलर यूकैरियोट्स फंजाइ इज ऑल द सेप्रोफाइट्स सेप्रोफाइट प्लांट्स हैव ऑटोट्रॉफस एंड एनिमल्स हर हिट्रोट्रॉफस so this is the five kingdom classification was give by which give by r h witaker it is the very advanced classification and the fungi has also his own kingdom this is fun that is fungi we will be talking about criteria which would take to this kingdom classification discuss in our next video now the sixth kingdom classification was also arise and we will discuss about this sixth kingdom classification now we discuss about the sixth kingdom classification sixth kingdom classification was given by carl woos Carl Woos was given by Sixth Kingdom classification. This classification is also named as Three Domain classification. This is also known Three Domain system. Organisms are classified into three domain. organisms are classified into three domain first that is first is archaea second one is bacteria and third one is eukarya it mainly used basic principle of five kingdom system but divided monera kingdom into two domains that is monera kingdom is divided in two domains that is archaebacteria and eubacteria this is the monera kingdom which is divided into three domain archaea bacteria and eukarya that is archaea bacteria and eubacteria are coming from monera kingdom first we discuss about the archaea bacteria archaea bacteria so the archaea bacteria include old ancient bacteria which live in extreme condition of the environment live in extreme condition of the environment and the u bacteria are the u bacteria are advanced bacteria it is the advanced bacteria now this six kingdom classification so this this six kingdom is first is archaea bacteria second one is u bacteria third one is protista then fungi then plant and animalia so this is the six kingdom classification which given by carl woos it is classification history starting with basic and 
वेरी इनिशियल क्लासिफिकेशन विच गिव बाय लिनियस एंड एरिस्टोटल एंड इट इज मेनी ड्रॉबैक बट दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन मॉर्फोलॉजिकल वी एप्रिशिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन बट टूडे वी फॉलोइंग विटेकर क्लासिफिकेशन बिकॉज इट इज वेरी एडवांस क्लासिफिकेशन एंड वी डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स क्राइटेरिया एंड ऑल द फाइव किंगडम्स आर डिटेल इन दिस चैप्टर ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस अबाउट द वायरस विरोइड्स एंड लाइकेंस टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच नॉट इंक्लूड इन दिस टाइप ऑफ किंगडम सो इन in this chapter biological classification we classified all the organisms and also study virus viroid and lichens thank you